Okay, so we're going to get started with creating our factorial function. We are going to call this factorial. And we're going to call it with a number that is what we want. We want to create a factorial of that particular number. And it is going to return us an integer. Now over here we need to define a base case and the case that is going to end the recursion. So we're just going to say if number is equals to zero, then we can go ahead and return one. This is going to end the recursion. So if number is zero, we're just going to return one. Else we are going to go ahead and say the number multiply by and calling the factorial one again, but this time passing in one less number. And uh, that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and uh, check it out. I'm going to go ahead and call this with 5 and get the result back and just go ahead and print the result. We have already seen how it actually flows in the slides before this lecture. You have already seen the call stack and everything. So now let's go ahead and run it and see if it produces 120 or not. And it does. 120. Let's go ahead and pass a different number. Let's say if we pass in 6, which is 6 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 4, 3, 2, 1. And let's go ahead and run it, 720. So that's a correct factorial of 6. So you can see that we have used recursion to create a factorial function. And we could have done this with a for loop or a while loop, but using, using the recursion, we were able to do this in very few lines of code, all right? And let me go ahead and also say this is the recursive case, and above is the base case, all right? Now in the next lecture, I'm gonna show you one more example. We are going to implement the power function using factorial. So stay tuned for that, using recursion. So stay tuned for that.